front of you uh, three years ago when I first came on board, and I felt very much like Larry and Josh did probably early in their time, knowing that they had a tremendous challenge, but also a tremendous opportunity. And I promise you that those two young men are doing wonderful things in our department. But when I stood before you three years ago, um, I also had a mouthful of things to say about where we were going to go. And what I hope is that in three short years, we've given Memphis something a little bit more to be proud of in our women's basketball program. <laughs> that is one of our goals, is to make this city and this university proud. I talked a lot about becoming the class of Conference USA, getting ourselves back to the NCAA tournament, and once we got there, being good enough to win. We are still climbing that mountain. But we are hoping as we go through the course of the next little bit of time um, that we're able to accomplish those things fully. We have made progress. This year, for the second year in a row, we won 20 games. We won 21 games this year. We made it back to the semifinals of the Conference USA tournament. And even though Brittany Carter was playing on one leg most of those last six or eight games, um, we had an opportunity to get ourselves accepted into the NIT, and we hope that is the first of many more uh, postseason bids that we're capable to that we're able to accept. We have made progress, but we want so much more for our program. Our team wants so much more, and I will tell you, we want so much more for you, all the fans that are here in this room, and for the University of Memphis. We are ready to raise the bar once again, and we're ready to handle those expectations. We're excited about the possibilities in all areas. When I stood before you a year ago, I said, we really like this roster, and we're going to be together for at least two years. And so what we have returning in our team this year are four of our top five leading scorers. Headlined by Brittany Carter, our first team all league player for a second year in a row, Brittany Carter will return for her senior year. Ramses Lonlack, our all defense, two-time All-Defensive player, returns for her senior year. For those of you that saw us play this year, Jasmine Lee, a force in the paint, returns for her senior year, and also Nicole Dixon. So we have a very good core of players coming back. I have to credit our assistant coaches by adding to that another very nice nationally ranked recruiting class. We brought one of our own to the University of Memphis. And by our own, I mean a young woman from the state of Tennessee, Jackson, Tennessee, by the name of Ann Jones, a 6'3 player that chose the University of Memphis, ultimately over the University of Georgia and Mississippi State. So I think we've got a place for her on our team probably. We also brought in two fine wing players, one in Lauren McGraw, who won two state championships in high school in the state of Florida, Jalen Norris, a very fine shooter out of Chicago. And just uh, recently, in the past couple weeks, we got a commitment from Ashley Mitchell, who was the number two rated junior college point guard in the country. And guess what? That's the only position that we graduated. So we're happy to welcome her into the board. We're also excited about some of our facility changes. RC actually didn't talk about this, so he left the door wide open for me. We will, this month, open up a brand new locker room complex in the Elmeron Fieldhouse for the University of Memphis women's basketball and women's volleyball team. So a big thank you to Dr. Williams and Austin Williams. We're hoping very soon to get started on the second phase of that. One of the, two of the challenges that I told you we had when we came in here was that I didn't think anybody knew who we were. And so we have challenged our media, and I think they have done a better job in, in the last two years of covering our program and giving us an opportunity to be relevant on the sports scene um, in the city of Memphis. The other challenge that I put out a year ago, and I'm gonna put out again, because I love to see hands go up. Tell me how many of you have seen a women's basketball game? That's a good thing. Grab that person next to you. I don't care if you buy them dinner, buy them a drink, mow their lawn, lie to them, trick them, get them in our building. Because I think we're going to be a team that you're going to love to watch. You will want to follow this team. I promise you that. We're excited about next year. I said this earlier. It is our goal to make the city of Memphis and the University of Memphis proud. 
and we're going to do our very best to do that. Your support is critical to what we do. You want us to win games, right? You love that, don't you? Tiger Nation loves to win basketball games and football games and volleyball games and tennis matches. It helps us do that. But I will be honest with you, more importantly, I sat at our senior luncheon today with four of our departing seniors. All four of those young ladies will graduate. In addition, We have two juniors on our team that will also receive, well, Brittany Carter has already received her degree. Jasmine Lee will receive her degree this month. They will return and compete as graduate students. I talked with each one of them today. Five of those six young ladies are the first players in their families, excuse me, the first young people in their families to graduate from college. That is So give what you can, do what you can. As R.C. said, buy them dinner, buy them a drink, lie to them, just give them to write a check to the University of Memphis. Thank you.